Hey guys, it's your boy Keeps Gaming here, and welcome to another episode of Man and Man of Medan. So let's continue. What the hell is wrong with you back there, Brad? You lost your shit like big time. You almost killed me. What? What are you talking? Come on, no, no come on. That's ridiculous. Well, what the fuck is going on with this ship? Because, I gotta be honest, it feels like there's some, like, like, evil, like, literal evil going on down there. Yeah. Let's just stay calm and relatively sane about this, okay? The stuff I saw, it's like there were these old soldiers, they were bodies, they were dead, but then they came alive and... That doesn't sound that crazy right about now. Alex wasn't the only Alex. What are you talking about? There were things walking around with his face on them. Alex's face, it, it was horrifying. Julia, I'd never hurt you. You know that, right? No, I know, it's just... This can't all be happening. Maybe, like, one thing could, but not all of these crazy things. It's too much of a coincidence. There's gotta be something going on here. Yeah. What can we absolutely be sure about? Maybe it's their what fear, it's something. Am I crazy or are we on a ghost ship? Like ghost ships are real and this is one and we're totally on it and oh holy shit, we're so totally fucked. I was gonna say the same thing. Well, I know we're not the first people to see weird shit here. Apparently the guards were super freaked out by something they saw in the cargo holds. What do you think actually happened to this place? Beat me, man. I saw 1947 on the newspaper. This whole place reeks of weird. Dirty, stinky, weird. And I don't like it. It's like this place is stuck in a perpetual bad feeling machine. <clears throat> what happened to everybody on this ship? Where did they all go? <laughs> Why do they always like make me choose the gold? In a ship. So where did all the corpses come from? Apparently getting scared to death is an actual thing because I'm pretty sure that's what happened to these guys. <coughs> we know more than we did before. That's something, at least. We're wasting time. Whatever we do, we have to do it now. Time to get off this ship. We're not going anywhere without the distributor cap. The Duke needs it to run. Hold on. The ship's gotta have a radio. If we can find it and use it... That's great, but do you think it still works? Just need to find a way up there. I think we need to go up there. To contact the chopper. And maybe his brother. Julia's brother. Ah, oh, good. We're. We gotta get off this damn ship. We're in a group. <laughs> no shit. I think we're uh, speaking clinically. Totally effed. Uh, at least we're outside, right? Even though it's raining. I could um. We could use the fresh air. <laughs> There's a boat. Great. Could have used these if they weren't Swiss cheese. <laughs> because of the holes. It could literally drown. So I believe they sadly no but I'll keep my eyes open. I believe they see it all. Like what one sees can be seen by others by the group. Hey, a little help over here. <clears throat> So we need to climb up there. I think this is our way up. Give me a lift. Why? Why you? I'll pull you up. <laughs> uh, 
So, are we all up? This reminds me of a movie that I saw that I watched um, way back. It's kind of like an old ship and they are somehow trapped in there. Their past, present, and future selves. Their enemy is their selves. I forgot the title of that movie, but I highly recommend it. It's it's uh there's a lot of twist to it. I love the camera angles and the quality and super high frame rate. Over here. Ah, this is where we are trapped. Got a way through here. I remember from the video. Uh, the I remember from the premonition. Oh god. Just lock in its own. Oh. Dude. First, there's another picture. shot himself maybe it's one of the Find a radio yet? one of the pirates no, the fishermen there's there, there a map actual route something's wrong here if you were headed to San Francisco you'd be crazy to take this route it's almost like they didn't want anyone to know they were coming like hide and seek out in the ocean. Mm. So I guess this is from Republic of China to America. Is this where the Mariana Trench is? I don't know. Forgot. There's a note. There's a note here. United States Department of the Navy. Uh, ship was blown off course. Cloud cover June 22, bad. have storm blown Taking off course. Twelve report of hold to flooded, excessive light strikes, adrift in shallow waters. Uh, location unknown. Seabed depth believe uncharted. Unable to establish depth. Search for crew members overboard. Commence. Search cold off. Heavy cloud cover as yet to enable established location. So I guess the crew uh, got lost somehow on the storm. And they have a difficulty time of Take searching. Oh, this is the radio. This is where no the last guy died. Way. This thing actually still works? Well, radio science hasn't changed much in 70 years, as long as there's power. <clears throat> I'll give it a whirl. Whoa. Ah, it's working! It's a number station. Military bandit. Let's ask them for help. Hey! Hey, is anyone out there hearing this? Hello? Over. Holy shit! We got him! Uh... If you can hear us, we're on a ship, an old freighter. Our coordinates are approximately, uh, 12 degrees 30 minutes south, 151 degrees 20 minutes west. Please, get here now! We need help!
Don't tell me. Brana freighter abandoned, huge and old. Hello, hello. Is anyone out there? Please come in. Oh, parse down. Don't tell me they, the receiver of that transmission was from World War II, <laughs> people. <laughs> this has got to lead somewhere. Maybe it's kind of messed up, right? Back. We need to get that radio working. I think someone should wait here in case a message comes through. I'll go, obviously. <clears throat> I can do this. I should be the one to go. Hey, little bro. What's up? I'm thinking you might deserve a promotion. How's medium bro sound? <laughs> what are you, what are you talking about? Stepped up to the plate. Put yourself right in the line of fire. You're kind of mixing metaphors there. Not if the pitcher's a machine gun. <laughs> I'm impressed. Seriously. Ah. Sounds cool. So what do you think? <clears throat> hey, if you're sure you're up for it, I believe you got it, bro. I'm coming too. Hey, what? Julian, no. Uh, you're not always gonna be there to protect big guy. I can handle this. Trust me. Whoa, whoa. If Julia says she can handle it, she can <laughs> handle it. Case closed. Okay, Julia. It's you and I. <coughs> Holy fuck. Ah, she's okay. We're okay. Any broken bones? Everything still work? <laughs> Everyone okay? We're okay. What are we gonna do? We're gonna have to find the generator. If we can get it started, we can power up the radio. Okay. Yeah, that's a good Nobody idea. Here by the radio. Here. It's a lighter. I think this is coal driven, maybe? Far up by coal? Hey. After you. So we are using Brad now. So we're going to a sick bay. <laughs> oh no Just went back So we are going down Here come check this out Look Down there Looks like the engine. Good place to find the generator, right? The light was broken off here. I think I can just... Wait! Are you okay? Yeah. Uh, all good. Just come down. Okay, slowly. A long way down. Oh God! What's that? Oh. It, 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 it was. It was. Wait, wait, did you see it? Um. Hello. Okay. Okay. Um. Okay. So I. So I'm seeing things, but you're not. Yeah, I think we're all going crazy. I think it might be from that fog. Why would the fog make us go crazy? That fog is fucking with our heads. 
Maybe that's what happened here in the first place. Why there's nobody left on the ship? This couldn't have anything to what do with fuck? the plane wreck we died. Fuck. I mean, maybe there was a connection. Maybe they made contact. It's a theory, I guess. Oh god. That's a pretty nice theory. All right, let's get going. Van Linden Engine Works, Rotterdam, Netherlands, diesel engine number 1734, year 1920, type L87C-SE. This is the brand. Maybe you don't have to think about it so that you won't get affected by, you know, what you see. Let's open this. It's a log book. Engine, engine room telegraph log. 12.3700 February 3. Ahead bell acknowledged engine speed adjusted. 2310 stand ahead bell acknowledge engine set to standard speed 2345 lieutenant young reported to relieve me of my watch duty i relayed engine running at standard speed with no special or standing orders from bridge or chief engineer and no maintenance or hazard issues in the engine room i found lieutenant young to be of a sober and composement is disposition to hand over watch at 2400 signed jg phillips zero hours relieve lieutenant uh lieutenant jg phillips of watch at zero zero hours inspected engine room for abnormalities perform equipment and machinery checks prior to watch no faults found Previous log entries examined. Currently standard speed engine. No new bridge orders. Eight hours. Uh, full ahead. Bell knowledge. Full speed ahead. Twenty four. Flank ahead. Flank bell acknowledge. Engine adjusted to maximum speed. Twenty six. Standing order from chief engineer. Cut engine room power from all non-essential lighting and machinery. Uh, 105. Chief engineer entered engine room for emergency inspection. Something more. Look at this. Stop. Uh, 129. Stop. Bell acknowledged. Cut engine power. 132. Ordered. Received to anchor in shallow water. No more here. So where the hell is the engine room? Should we go back? <laughs> of course, dry clothes. Maybe it's the gas leak, maybe? Made them hallucinate? Hallucinate? Oh, it's a control room? Hey, hey! Okay, let's get back upstairs. There's gotta be another way up. Okay, transmission. <laughs> they made it. Well, we have it back. Can you hear me? Over. Please your situation. Over. We need help now. 
There are things on the ship that are trying to hurt us. Over. Recovery mission is on route to your location. Over. Nice one. Come on, work them in. <clears throat> so we need to find another way up. The rebreather. The fisherman must have brought it over from the Duke of Milan. You think it still works? Looks like it's got a little juice left. Maybe a couple of minutes. Should we bring it with us? I mean, it's heavy. It's just gonna slow us down. Are you crazy? Half the ship is submerged. Could be a lifesaver. Maybe we can use that. Gonna torture him? Écoute moi. Non. Fais pas ça. Regarde. Ah. Oh. Je t'avais dit de fermer ta gueule. Oh fuck. Just killed him. <laughs> ah, there's the. There's a thing. They need it for the Duke of Milan to run. <clears throat> Maybe it's that gas. <coughs> Get the thing. Ah, oh. feel sorry for you, girl. Feel sorry for you, man. We have to be very careful. It's crazy as a shit house, right? So we need this. I think we should try to avoid that. Yeah. Yeah, maybe it's that thing that made them crazy. Oh, there's the ring. Come on, run. Oh, my God. Come on, run. You calm down, man. <laughs> Please tell me you have an escape plan. This guy's like crazy unpredictable. We better get the hell away from him right freaking now. 
Run! Fucking run! God. Safe? Please tell me we're safe. Oh. Yeah, totally. I mean, these doors were meant to withstand all sorts. Oh no. Stuff. Okay. Okay. None of you move. None of you go all changing on me now. Oh no. Turn around. Oh no. Okay. All right. Not changing. None of that. Raise your hands up. Slow. No, no. Not like that. I said no changing. Just put the gun down. Nobody has to get hurt. Yeah. You think I wanted to hurt anybody? I didn't get a choice in this, did I? It's in you too, isn't it? Isn't it now? What's wrong with you, man? Ah, not again! It's all gone changing on me! What? What's changing? What's happening Stay to away. you? Stay back from the mist! What? There's no mist, man! Don't breathe it! Don't breathe the mist! Why can't we breathe the mist? What does it do? It's life. Bringing things to life that shouldn't be alive. Ah, it's Inside the gas. Now. Inside with us now. Please just calm down. Stop. Stop. It's in one of us, isn't it? Put the gun down now. Why would you say that? Why are you telling me what to do? Yeah, you breathe in the mist. It's happening. Oh no. I can feel it. Okay, all, all right, look. I, there was, you know, something back there. Uh, maybe a mist or fog, maybe? I knew it. I told you. Did you breathe it in? No. No, look. We held our breath. We did not breathe any of that stuff. <laughs> oh, really? I know you're all fancy divers, but you expect me to buy that? We've been down here for hours. You've been holding no. your breath this whole time. You're holding your breath right now. Wait, 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 wait. wait. We have a rebreather from our boat. Yeah. But we've been using it to get the mist out of us. You know, we could use it on you too, okay? No, 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 no! You keep that thing away from me! Oh, but it's in me. I got the mist in me, don't I? No. It's in me, isn't it? You're trying to kill yourself? No. I can feel it swirling around in there. Don't it's do that, man. Me. No. 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 Don't kill us. You can all see it in me, can't you? You're just lying. The mist is inside. <laughs> What's happening to you, man? Hey, man, come on. Just put the. Oh, sh. Oh, fucking shit. Just fucking killed himself. Oh, you grab it, you might need a weapon. 